Okay, this video is for Apple to show them some bugs. Um, and this bug has been around since Logic 9 was switched to Logic 10. What was it, six years ago? And it's really starting to get on my nerves now. And the problem is, Apple, you've introduced this new feature in 10.4 to be able to draw in stepped controllers at the resolution uh, set by the snap for the automation. But because you haven't fixed this problem that was broken when you switched from Logic 9 to 10, we can't employ this new feature in 10.4 with the full creativity that we would be able to do if you had fixed this bug going back to when Logic 9 was converted to Logic 10 or Pro X, right? I'll show you the bug. Um, and this is the same whether you're doing automation on the region um, in the arrange area either as region or track automation or whether we're doing it in the MIDI draw area here. So here's a region with two notes playing a super saw type synth. Now I can choose a parameter here like the in the MIDI draw but again this is, happens exactly the same if you do it on in the range area here. I can choose the ES2 filter low pass filter cutoff. Boom. That's the selected parameter. I now can set this is the new feature you've introduced in 10.4. Snap automation active and set to quarter beats. And now with the pencil tool, I can hold down Alt and draw in steps at quarter beats. Bam, 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 bam. Across that two bar region. And now I can adjust. Let me just get rid of that node, go away. So I can go, well, I want to start with a lower filter setting for the first quarter step or a higher filter setting. I'll go with a higher filter setting. Then it goes to lower filter for the next step, higher filter lower filter setting, higher, lower, higher, lower. Now there's an extra node there which we don't want, get rid of it. Okay, so my filter is going to do quarter, quarter note steps across this two bar region. Now that is great that you've added this feature but there's a problem and this is the problem to employ the full creativity of this. Yes, I've set I've put this in at quarter beats over two bars. Yes, I can delete all this automation, set my snap automation to eights and draw it in again at a higher resolution of eights. But what I should be able to do after I've assigned the controller and drawn it in is I should be able to highlight all these nodes and then go to functions MIDI transform double speed, operate only, and I've doubled the speed of those quarter beat nodes, so they're now eights, right? Now that I've, and there's the one of the bugs. Now that I've done that, look, as soon as I move a node, it reverses the upper and lower nodes and breaks the step, right? But another problem is this, I can now grab all these and copy them over to fill the two bars at the new resolution, that's the idea, right? Alt, bring it across, copy. Right? Now that's broke there, there's no way to fix that. Now you might say, oh, well that's because you didn't have a, a lower starting node here, or well, let's put one in, oh, and that's broke as well. See, can't do that. I can reverse these manually, like that, but as soon as I touch that bottom one, oh no, okay, right. So let's try it, oh, that's broke, look, let's try it, select all those. Alt, copy across, bam, 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 bam. And, okay, it's a little bit broke there. That node needs to come down. But watch, I bet it breaks. Okay, now, we've copied over and we think, okay, that's good, but now if I, there's two other problems. One, whether you've copied nodes over or not, I can't grab all the upper nodes like that and then easily adjust the upper level of my step value. I can't do it because it selects the bottom nodes as well. And it doesn't matter whether I'm using the pointer tool or the automation select tool. I can't grab upper nodes without the lower node being selected, which is wrong. I should be able to grab all those upper nodes and then adjust the upper value of these steps down or up relative to each other. And the same for the bottom. I should be able to grab the lower nodes and adjust those up or down to adjust all the lower values all at once and all the higher values then all at once. But you can't do it because it selects all the nodes, which is wrong. So that's broken. That wasn't broken before, now it's broken. The other thing is I've copied over. If I now try and manually lower that value, 
it does that look it, it reverses the upper and lower nodes so there's no way to fix it it's you can't then adjust the nodes even individually because it breaks this has been going on since logic 10 six years right copied nodes don't allow you to adjust the upper and lower values when they're stepped like this it breaks every time look right that node should be up there and that node should be down there they're reversed and I can manually reverse them like this but it breaks again so can you please fix that because we're losing the creativity I should be able to very simply take these eight steps select them transform them double them again to sixteenths like that so now I've got sixteenth resolution for my steps grab the whole lot I should be able to easily alt copy them over copy them over copy them over so I've got 16 steps and then all I should have to do is just adjust that and adjust that now I've got 16 steps fantastic by using the doubling but now I can't adjust these because it breaks 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 it's broken please 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 fix it because there's fantastic creative things we can do with this if only you'd fix it and secondly and this, by the way, happens up here as well, if you do it in the, in the region um, here in the arrange area. Same thing, same problem. Um, also, in the process of getting this fixed, could you do what logic, um, could you do what Cubase has had going back to Cubase about seven years ago? With their automation lane, uh, MIDI draw like this you can select a snap for the automation a value and you can pencil in stepped automation like this and you can choose to step in when you draw in it will draw in in square wave steps triangle wave steps or sine wave steps at the chosen resolution can we please have that in logic so we can draw in smooth sine wave controller sweeps at whatever resolution we want or triangle sweeps or stepped gated uh, sweeps like this yeah and please fix the problem so we can not you know we can't select all the upper nodes and lower those all down quickly relative you know to where we want them to be and we can't grab the lower nodes and adjust all those because it's broken it selects the upper nodes as well if we could have that fixed we could easily adjust all the upper lev lev values and then easily select and adjust all the lower values we can't do it you've got to do them one by one and then you've got the issue of this thing breaking right so could we have the ability to draw in sine square and sawtooth waves for our automation can we have the ability that when automation copies it does not break the steps where one node is directly below or above another node can we please have that fixed yeah um, and then I can do a tutorial showing the guys your users how they can do great things with this uh, with these controllers working in in different steps I mean I can manually build a saw wave a saw shape with the controllers I can manually build a sign type of sweeping curve shape but it should be we should be able to just draw these in very simply with a pencil by selecting the appropriate shape for our steps sine wave triangle wave square wave right okay um, fix that problem where we can't select the upper and lower nodes independently and fix the problem where this happens can you please fix all that then I can get on and do some great creative tutorials. Thank you. Have a good day.